Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. In this video, I'll show how to crochet a daisy granny square. This is a nice variation of a regular granny square that starts with a flower in the middle and continues like a regular granny square from round three and on. To do this, I'm using small amounts of worsted weight yarn and a size G four millimeter crochet hook because the majority of this motif is a regular granny square, feel free to watch my beginner granny square videos for a refresher on how to make a regular square if needed. To begin, make a slip knot with the yellow yarn and chain four. Then slip stitch to the first stitch to close the ring. For round one, start with a chain one and a single crochet stitch directly in the ring. Going forward, this is how the petals will be made. Start with a chain four and then make a single crochet stitch in the ring. So there is flower petal number one thus far. I'll repeat this process. Make a chain four and then make a single crochet stitch in the ring. So this is flower petal number two. And I'll do this process one more time. Make a chain four and then make a single crochet stitch in the ring. Continue with this process until there are seven flower petal loops made. Now, petal number eight still needs to be made, and that is made by a chain four, and then slip stitch instead to the first stitch of this round. Now, there are a correct total of eight flower petal loops made for this round. Keep the number eight flower petals in mind for going forward. All eight flower petals are made like this. Slip stitch into any loop, then make a chain three, the middle section of each flower petal is made like this. Make two treble crochet stitches all in that same yellow flower loop. This creates the center of each flower petal. And then for the closing of the flower petal, make the reverse of the opening of the flower petal. So chain three and then slip stitch into the yellow loop to finish the first flower petal. This is what the first flower petal looks like. In between flowers, make a chain one. Then repeat that first flower petal pattern. Make a slip stitch into the next loop, which is the second loop. Then make a chain three. Repeat the middle section process of the flower petal, which consists of two treble crochet stitches all made in that same yellow flower loop. And then for the closing of the flower petal, make the reverse of the opening, which ends up being a chain three, and then make a slip stitch into the yellow loop to finish the second flower petal. And then remember to make a chain one in between flower petals. Continue this process for all loops around the flower. At the end, after making the final chain one, make a slip stitch to the first stitch to close this round. This flower might be a bit curly at this point, but that's okay, it will flatten out in the next sections. This next section is to prepare for round three of the actual granny square. With some green yarn, place a slip knot on the hook and make a single crochet in between any of the flower petals within the chain one space. Then make a chain four. This chain four will need to go behind the flower petals, so push the flower petal forward so that the chain stitches will go behind. And then make a single crochet in between the next set of petals in the chain one space. Then make another set of chain four stitches, push the next flower petal forward so it stays out of the way, and then make a single crochet in the chain one space between the next set of flower petals. Continue with this process around, ensuring there are eight green loops once completed. After making the eight set of chain four stitches, slip stitch to the first stitch to close this round. Turn the work over and it's important to count to ensure that there are eight green loops made at this time. These eight loops are necessary to now start working on the traditional round three of a granny square. Slip stitch into the next loop to position the crochet hook correctly to create a corner of the granny square. In granny squares, there are corners and then there are sides. The corner, which I'm making at this time, consists of three double crochet stitches, and the initial chain three counts as one double crochet stitch, followed by chain two, and then that is followed by three more double crochet stitches. The stitch pattern is used in all four corners of the granny square. The next loop will be a side. 
In granny squares, the side usually consists of three double crochet stitches made all in the same space. So I'm making three double crochet stitches for this side. Going forward for this round, alternate a corner in the one loop, followed by a side, followed by another corner in the next loop, followed by a side in the next loop. If all goes well, there will be four corners with four sides in between. And as always, after the last side, make a slip stitch to the top of the chain three from the beginning corner. The pattern just made is essentially round three of the typical granny square. So going forward, continue with the regular granny square pattern for rounds four and five, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I do have a tutorial video for a basic granny square if needed. And that's how I crochet a daisy granny square.